Hello internet friends and family. Today is Thursday, June 27, 2013. It's getting warm. We're getting we're getting ready for a hot one this weekend. So just a couple of quick stories from last night, Southern Nevada uh, chapter of the Red Cross, their annual donor and volunteer appreciation dinner. Very nice event at the Smith Center. Uh, I'll include some pictures at the end of this. First story is um, MGM Resorts International was one of their VPs was in a meeting with the CEO of the Red Cross this chapter and said you know we really had to come up with a plan to get military people jobs after they return from theater and he's like yes we should so they create a program called Boots to Business and it's a program that um, as of this week they're actually expanding into four more states and it is a program that I think they've had like over 10 graduates from their first class. So people, military people who come back and who have been in the military for years and years, they speak military language. They have incredible skills and experience. They just don't know how to translate it into jargon that works in the workplace and employment application. So they've created this um, program so that it assists military veterans to, to do that. And it's getting jobs and now they're expanding it to like Detroit and DC and I can't remember the other two states, but just an incredible little program that's doing some great things. The other quick story is um, one of the past board presidents, he and his wife were moving to Texas, and I guess he always had the statement, uh, he always used the phrase, are you committed or are you involved? And kind of used the analogy of the chicken and a pig for breakfast. So if you're a chicken, you're involved, and if you're a pig, you're committed. So the CEO went to Albertsons yesterday to buy a little miniature frying pan just as a little going away gift uh, for them, for all the um, people to sign on the back. And he went to the checkout and he scanned it and he scanned it and it was beep, 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 but it wouldn't scan it. And the woman who kind of does the oversees the self checkout scanners came over and he must have had on his Red Cross t-shirt or something. And she's like, oh, you're with the Red Cross. And he said, yes. And she, he, she said, you know, a year ago, my house burned down and the Red Cross was there for me. Ah, being so emotional. And so she whipped out her card and like scanned it and said, okay, done. You're, you know, here's your eight buck frying, frying pan. It's, it's my donation back to what the Red Cross did to me. He's like, no, 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 it's really, you know, it's not necessary, but it's kind of the, the context of you never know whose lives you're, you're impacting and have impacted. And yeah, so there were some real heartwarming stories. Uh, they did a little video thing at the end. It was a real, really nice, really nice evening and made me very humbled to be part of, in just a small way, of this organization. So anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Stay cool and I will talk to you tomorrow.